Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to configure and by the end of the video, how to deploy a Binance Futures grid bot. And it appears that they have actually upgraded the user interface, so it's a little more user friendly. So let's get to it. Now, the first thing you obviously need to do is log into your Binance account. If you don't have a Binance account, I will drop a link in the description down below and you can use that link to sign up for a new account. Now, after you log into your account, you will want to make sure you have funds available in your USDM futures wallet and you can actually transfer from your fiat spot wallet right over to the USDM futures wallet simply by just clicking on transfer. And then you can select from fiat to usdm futures the amount of usdt you will need usdt in that wallet and click confirm once you've made that transfer now that you have funds available to trade in your futures wallet you come up to the derivatives tabs and give usdm futures a click and that'll bring you to the Binance Futures trading dashboard. And from here, you need to get access to the grid trading bot setup. And where it says grid trading bot in the upper right hand corner in yellow letters, you just give that a click. And that will bring up the configuration page for the grid trading bot. Now, this is the new and improved user interface. And compared to this old interface, it is an improvement. However, there's really not a whole lot of new features other than the graphic user interface. So the first thing you would want to do is select your pair that you want to actually trade. And there is a variety of pairs available that you can actually trade. But today I will be deploying the bot on BTC USDT perpetual contracts. So next I need to select whether I want the bot to be neutral, long or short. Now, if you deploy a long or short grid bot, that is exactly as it sounds. A long bot will basically only open long positions and sell for profit on the way up. And a short bot will only open short positions and buy for profit on the way down. Today's bot that I will be deploying is a neutral bot. And now the way a neutral bot actually works is based on what direction the price action goes after you deploy the bot. So this is an example of a grid bot I deployed just about a month ago. And when you see this blue arrow, I deployed the bot right here on this candle. And the price at the time of deployment is represented by this yellow line. Now, after I deployed the bot, the first thing it did is it actually ran up. And so it was opening short positions as it hit each one of these limit sell orders, which are represented by the red lines making up your grid. And so I was opening short positions this whole way up. And then once the price rolled over, it started buying for profit on the way down. And the reality is this bot would have continued to be shorting until the price action crosses the deployment line. Once that price action crosses below that deployment line, then the bot will flip to long and start buying positions on the way down. And as you can see, this price action sold all the way off down to here. And then on the way back up, it's selling for profit. And then eventually it started to chop. And so it would buy on the way down sell for profit on the way up and as long as it stayed under this yellow deployment line the bot would be opening long positions only and so the name neutral bot means the bot can either be long or short depending on where the price action goes after deployment if the price goes up your bot will be in short mode if the price goes down your bot will be in long mode but that mode will change anytime the price action crosses above or below your deployment level. And if you're curious how this bot actually ended up performing, I can jump down here to history. And the first result you see in the list of my history is actually the results for that bot. And it actually ended up generating a profit of 112%. Not too bad of performance for a 25 day period. And I did close the bot. As you can see, it says canceled. Now let's get into the configuration of today's bot. Today's bot will again be a neutral bot that I will deploy. As I've seen better results with the neutral bot personally based on my strategies, I will occasionally do a long grid bot to hedge my positions. 
But as far as profitability, the neutral bot has been my most profitable strategy. Next, I need to select the margin mode and you have an option between cross or isolated. Now cross will actually spread that risk across all your positions, not just this one position. I prefer to go with isolated. I want my risk limited strictly to this one position. Now I need to adjust my leverage. I prefer 10x or lower. In this case, I'm going to go with nine. If you're new to leverage trading, I really suggest perhaps not going over 5x until you understand how leverage trading actually works. And now you can see my leverage has been adjusted to the 9x rather than the 10x. Next, you need to select how each grid will be priced. I typically go with geometric and that will make each grid have equal price ratio differences. Or you could go with the arithmetic and that will be each grid has equal price differences. So I'm going to go with geometric. Now I need to set my lower and upper price limits for this grid. Now I typically shoot for prior support for my lower limit and resistance for my upper limits. Now unfortunately the Binance grid bots do not appear to have a trailing up or a trailing down feature. So once that price action exits the upper or lower limit, your bot will no longer be executing trades until the price action enters back into the grid. And again, if we jump back to the example of the grid bot I deployed last month, you can see the price action did actually exit my upper limit, but did eventually come back down into the grid and started trading once again. So your bot will still be live. It just won't be executing trades until it re-enters the grid levels. And so for this bot, I'm going to set my lower price limit at 28,000. And that is based on the dump of Bitcoin down to around 29,000. Plus, I want to give the bot enough room to maneuver. So I will set my lower limit at 28,000. And so my upper limit, we could look at these resistance levels, but I'm going to go back over here and that's around 42.5. So I'm going to make my upper limit at 43,000. Now I need to determine the number of grids for this bot. And I'm going to start with 80 and with 80 grids, that will give me an estimated profit per grid of 0.50%. And for those of you wondering if that will even cover the trading fees, it more than covers the trading fees. The trading fees are like 0.075%. So it's not even 0.15% of this 0.5%. So you're covered. Now the amount of ammo this bot will require to be deployed is 331 USDT. I only happen to have around 300 USDT in this particular wallet. So I will need to make an adjustment to either my upper and lower grid levels, or I can actually change the number of grids. In this case, I'm just going to change the number of grids from 80 to 70. That will make my profit per grid 0.57%. So in reality, I increase the amount of profit between each grid. And now the bot needs 290 USDT in ammo to be deployed. So I'm just going to click 100% on the slider bar and give it the full balance in this particular wallet. And then the quantity per order will be 0.001 BTC. And the total investment will be 2,706 USDT. And that figure is calculated by multiplying my leverage of 9x by the 300 USDT that I'm actually giving the bot. Now from here, I could actually click create, but there are some advanced options you might want to take advantage of. The first one is grid trigger, and that is when the bot will actually be active once the price hits that target. So you could select a trigger price of say 34,000 or 40,000, depending on what you want the bot to do based on your strategy. For neutral bots, I do not select a grid trigger, so I'm going to skip that option. Now, the next options are your stop trigger prices, and those are effectively your stop losses. And it's extremely important when trading with leverage that you deploy stop losses. If you decide not to, just keep this in mind. Not using a stop loss is like going into battle without armor. Eventually, you're going to get killed. And by simply having a stop loss in place, that can keep you from getting liquidated and therefore you will have some ammo left over in order to engage in a future fight. 
So I always highly recommend using the stop loss options. Now, the stop loss for the bottom price, I'm going to set just below the 28,000 level. And so I will set that at the 27,900 level. And my stop loss for the upper end will be set above the 43,000 price level. And I'm going to set that at 50,000. And then the last two options are cancel all orders on stop. You definitely want all of your orders canceled. And then I prefer to have the bot actually close all positions as a stop loss. I want out so I can re-engage at a later time. And that's pretty much it. The bot's configured and ready to deploy. So I just click create. And now we get a recap with direction of neutral. The mode will be geometric. My leverage is 9x. The price range is 28,000 to 43,000 for my upper and lower levels. And my grid number is 70. The quantity per order is 0.001 BTC. The profit per grid is approximately 0.57%. My initial margin is 300 USDT, giving me a total investment of 2,700 USDT. Again, that's nine multiplied by the 300 USDT. I did not set the grid trigger type or price. I did set up a stop loss for the bottom price of 27,900. And for the top price level, I selected 50,000. So now all I need to do is click confirm. Now, if you want to see actual details like the grids on the chart, you'll need to jump back over to USDM futures tab, and that will actually bring up the trading view chart. Now you need to be on trading view in order to see all your open limit orders. And so I think that pretty much wraps it up. Now I will be doing an update video on how this bot is performing in the future. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop those down in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Binance in the description down below if you don't already have a Binance account. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.